Welcome to the London Wetland Centre here in Barnes in the lovely borough of Richmond. Let's come and have a look round. We're a 105 acre nature reserve just a few minutes away from Hammersmith so we bring the countryside very much to the heart of London. Here at the centre you can enjoy walks um, amongst our ponds and amongst the reed beds throughout the year. During the summertime where we are now you've got meadows that are fully in flower, we've got dragonflies and damselflies zipping around on the wing and then as we slowly move into autumn that's when you're going to start to get your wintering ducks flying in and they'll be roosting here for the winter months and we get nationally significant numbers of gadwall and shoveler each and every year and if you're lucky as we get into the winter months you might see the very shy very elusive bittern which is a wetland bird very much associated with places like the Norfolk Broads and the Somerset Levels and yet each winter they make the London Wetland Centre their home. Moving into spring, that's where we get more birds coming through from places like Sub-Saharan Africa. So reed warblers will be coming over to, to nest in our reed beds and we'll have sand martins zipping around on the, on the wing as well, nesting in our sand martin bank. This year is one, has been one of the best years for our sand martins. So we've had uh, nearly every single nest chamber of our 98 nest chambers occupied by breeding birds. They'll be gearing up for their journey back to Southern Africa now. So in August, they'll be heading south along with a lot of the swifts and the reed warblers will be making their way back as well. The other things to look out for, especially during the summer months, in addition to the dragonflies and damselflies, if you look around the wooden bridges, places where I'm standing now, that's where you might be lucky enough to see animals like common lizards basking in the sunshine, taking up the heat from the bridge. And if you're really lucky, looking across some of our reed bed channels or across the ponds, you might even see a grass snakes uh, swimming its way from one side to another. So we're here in one of my favourite spots in the reserve. These are the main reed beds in Wildside and it's hard to believe that you're in London really if on, on a very very clear day from some bits of the site you can see landmarks like the Shard and the BT Tower and today there's the floodlights across the way from Fulham football ground so that gives you a better idea of where exactly we are in London. For visitors who want to enjoy some of the wildlife around the site we have six hides that look across our lakes, our reed beds and our marshes and from the three-storey peacock tower you'll also get a panoramic view of London and that really does help to show where we sit in the capital. There's something for everyone at the London Wetland Centre. This has been described by Chris Packham as an oasis in the heart of London and it really is. As well as having the nature reserve, there's also our living collection where people can see our two Asian small claw otters, as well as ducks and geese from around the world. Some of the ducks and geese we have in our collection are of real conservation concern. So we have the world's rarest geese. And as well as telling those conservation stories, we also have some of the weird and wonderful wildfowl from around the world. Birds like the southern screamers, which really are, uh, are something to be seen. In the summer months, that's when we'll be running some of our events, like our bat walks. They run every other week. Uh, in the evenings and visitors get the opportunity to experience the centre after dark so they'll be armed with bat detectors and a knowledgeable guide and they'll be able to point out what bats we have here on site and whilst that's geared more towards families grown-ups aren't left out because we have our bats bugs and beers so this is an opportunity not only to go out looking for bats but also to have a beer and look at some of the other nighttime wildlife you'll find around here whether that's looking at tracks that have been left in a footprint tunnel or looking for moths. There'll be a little bit of uh, nighttime wildlife for everyone to experience. <laughs>